How can I work in Canada without an LMIA? There are many Canadian work permit options for foreign employees that do not require an LMIA. The purpose of a Labor Market Impact Assessment LMIA, is to make sure that the hiring of a foreign worker will have a positive or neutral effect on the Canadian labor force. Work permits that require an LMIA fall under the Temporary Foreign Worker Program TFWP. Canada allows some foreign workers to come work in Canada without an LMIA. These workers fall under the International Mobility Program IMP. Many of the most common LMIA exempt streams fall under the IMP, which can be divided into the following categories. One significant benefit to reciprocal employment 3 charitable and religious workers. Significant benefit The foreign nationals proposed work must be considered beneficial to Canada, meaning it must be important or notable. Canada visa officers have some flexibility in determining who is issued a work permit under this category. Some of Canada's LMIA exempt work permit programs under the significant benefit category. Entrepreneurs or self-employed persons Entrepreneurs or self-employed persons who want to come to Canada to start or run a business may be granted an LMIA exemption. Intercompany transferees, ICT Foreign businesses that have a parent company, branch, subsidiary or affiliate in Canada can bring important personnel to Canada through intercompany transferees. CUSMA under the Canada-United States-Mexico Agreement CUSMA, citizens of the United States and Mexico can get a work permit without the need for an LMIA. Set of the Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement CETA, allows certain business visitors, investors, ICTs, service providers and independent professionals to come to Canada without an LMIA. TV and film production workers Television and film production companies can bring workers to Canada if they can demonstrate that the work to be performed by the foreign worker is essential to production. Reciprocal Employment Reciprocal employment agreements allow foreign works to work in Canada when Canadians have similar reciprocal work opportunities abroad. Charitable and Religious Work Charitable Worker Charity is defined as the relief of poverty, advanced of education or certain other purposes that benefit the community. Religious Workers the foreign national must be part of or share the religious beliefs of a particular religious community where they intend to work. Thanks for watching. Hope the information given in this video is helpful. Share it with your family and friends. Also, do comment your queries, feedback and suggestions. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for more videos.